Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today we are going to talk about Box Layout Manager. In a previous video, we talked about uh, grid layout and uh, border layout. So now it's time for us to have a discussion on box layout. So I'm going to talk to you about certain uh, things that you need to know about this particular layout manager and uh, how to use it. So the, what the box layout does is that it puts your components in a single row or a column, or in other words, it either stacks your components on top of each other, or it places them in a row depending on your choice. So box layout is just like uh, flow layout, except that it has more functionalities. In the coming videos, I'm, I'm gonna talk about flow layout as well. For example, with box layout, uh, you can respect maximum sizes of your GUI components. And it also lets you align your components the way you want it in the container. So box layout also has a constants, the constants that would actually determine how your components will be placed or aligned uh, the container. So as an example, I'm going to show you how to set your box layout as a layout manager for a particular container. So here we are having a frame, as you can see on the screen here, these lines of code are going to help you to create a frame. And now let me set the layout manager for this particular frame. So all I need to write is the name of my frame, which is frame set layout. So new, the name of my layout will be box layout like this. I have to import the box layout class. I will still get an error because the box layout actually must have arguments. It must, you must pass certain arguments, certain parameters to the box layout for it to work. So the first argument must be referring to the container that this particular box layout will manage. So it will manage our frame. So I need to write frame here. The second parameter we need to pass in this box layout constructor must be the axis along which the components will be laid out, okay? So this is gonna be the box layout constant that will define how your components, your GUI components will be laid out in a container. So I would say box layout that page axis. So page axis would mean that your GUI components are going to be laid out from top to bottom. And if you say line component, uh, line axis, excuse me. That means that your GUI components are going to be laid out from left to right. So just to show you how these axes work, how to align your components, I'm gonna add some components to the frame. So I'm gonna say J label, call this label, new J label. I'll set the text here, call this label. I can also add a button, button, BTN, say new J button. I'll set the text of this button to button like this. So now I have to add these GUI components to the frame. So I'll say frame that add label and then frame that add BTN. Now let me see if this is going to show on the frame. I'm actually getting an exception here. As you can see, I'm having an exception. And to fix that exception, we need to use a particular uh, method called get content pane method. So in our layout box layout uh, constructor here, the first parameter we pass, we said it's frame. So we have to add another method here. We'll say frame that get content pane. So this is going to make sure that this box layout will be applied on the content pane of our frame. So the content pane is in the area of the frame. All right. So now when I run, you can see that my frame is showing. I don't have any error. And then, so my components are being added from left to right because we said that box layout line access. What if I say, okay, I want page access and run. Now you can see it's being added from top to bottom. I will add maybe text field. I will say J text field, text field, new J text field. And I will come here and add that particular text field to the frame. And then I, when I run, okay, this is how it's showing. We have a label, text field and button. So if I say line access here, okay, this is how it's showing, all right? Except line axis, I can also have another box layout constant, which is called the X axis. Let's see what will happen. So this is for the X axis and the Y axis. So 
this is how it shows. So I'm gonna say line axis here. So when you use the box layout constructor, you have the possibility of creating a rigid area, which is a kind of an invisible component used to add space between your components, okay? Let's uh, add some rigid space between our components. So what we are going to do is that here we will say frame that add box that create rigid area and we will set the dimensions so we say new dimension zero five and then it puts a semicolon here now if we come and refresh so the dimension here we will say five for the x coordinates it put page axis here what if we increase this dimension so now you can see that the rigid space has been added just before the label okay what if we come back to line access and run now you can see the vertical space has been added all right so now if you add before each uh, GUI component you will now see the effect of uh, this rigid area when you run. So now you can see the space between the label, the text field, and then the button. Okay, so that's it. How you can apply the box layout on a particular frame. So what if we want to apply this on another panel? Okay, let me remove that. We're gonna add a panel. We call this panel, new J panel. We wanna set the layout. So we say panel that set layout, new box layout. So that will be panel that get content pane. And in here we'll say box layout that page underscore access. I think this, let's remove this like this. So let's remove the get content pane and um, we can set the background color of the panel. Not set background and color will be red. So let's add this particular panel to the frame. So we say frame that add panel and run. It's not showing. Just to make sure, let me comment this. But if we do that, okay, now you can see it's there. So one thing we will do is that we we're gonna add some components to our panel. So J label will be label equal new J label, say label, also say J button, ETN, new J button, X will be button. Okay, let's add these um, to the panel. So panel that add label and panel that add BTN, right? Let me run so we can see that. So now let's uncomment this. Is it gonna work? All right, so now you can see that uh, our panel is having a very small size here and then it's been placed according to the box layout that we precised here. So one thing we're gonna do is that we will remove this box layout here. So I will just comment it. And then when I come and refresh, and um, what if I wanna set the size, the preferred size for my panel, I will say panel that set preferred size. So new dimension 200 and run this has not worked that means that i need to set the bounds okay so i will set the layout of my frame to null like this and then as for my panel let me remove this i'll simply say panel that set bounds will be zero zero and 200 no 100 i think for the width and 100 for the height let me come and run so now you can see the panel showing here i think 400 was maybe a good idea here. Okay, so that's it. So my components I added, you know, the label and the button were added on the panel and they are actually showing on the panel. And I can also add some rigid space between these uh, components. So I'll simply say panel that add box that create rigid area. So here I'll say zero, 20, I need to add some brackets here, okay? So that will be new dimension, I'll close the bracket. All right, so that eight, let me just check this. 
Okay, it has added some space uh, before the label. I'll simply copy this and add some space before the button too. This will create some space. Now you can see that the space has been created. Let me change the color for the panel here. I will say gray. Okay, so now you can see the label, you can see the button. You can also see that if I change the constant here and I say line axis, run, this is how it's showing. So there's no space, there's no rigid area between the two buttons because as you can see here, the rigid area, the dimension for the X coordinates is zero. So I can choose to say that it is 20 here. And for the Y coordinate, I will say zero. And if I say zero here and 20 like this, and then one, now you can see that I have space between my um, components. All right, so what we're going to do is now we're going to add another panel. I'll simply take this and paste it here. So I'll call this panel two, panel two. I'll give it a background color of blue, say panel two. And as for the bounds, I will set the bounds here. So I'll say 200 x zero now i need to add this to my uh, frame so I'll say frame that add panel to then semicolon let me run okay as you can see i've added the second panel here i have to change here i want it to be down so i'll say zero and then 200 okay so this is how it's showing now uh this on this particular panel I will also set its layout manager. I will simply copy, paste it down here. And I will say for the panel two, I will have another box layout that will say page underscore axis like this. And I can also choose to set the border for this particular panel. So that will be panel two, that set border. And inside the brackets, I will say border factory that create empty border. So I need to import the border factory class. And in here, I'm going to pass some parameters. And now let me run. Okay, I'm having an error because uh, here I said panel. So I have to say panel two. Okay, so let me run. Now you can see, now let me say 10 here. All right, let me add some Y coordinates. Okay, so I'm going to create some buttons. So let me come here, I will say J button, BTN one, new J button, button one, J button, BTN two, new J button, button two. So in order to place these buttons at the right side of uh, the panel, we have to add a glue component. So actually a glue component is an invisible component that grows as necessary to absorb any extra space in its com container. This glue component can either be horizontal or vertical, all right? So what we're gonna do is that here we will say panel two that add. So this is gonna add a glue component. So box that create horizontal glue like this and then semicolon. After we've done that, we can now add our button. So we say panel two that add BTN one. Okay, and now we say panel two that add btn2 and run all right so now as you can see i have added the two buttons on this particular panel so if you also want just like we did you can add some rigid space between the buttons to if you want to add space right right so all you have to do i would just simply copy this and come here between the two buttons i uh, will add some rigid space all right so since the panel two is using the page underscore axis um, constant so i only need to add some x coordinate space here so i'll say 20 and then when i run you can see that i've added space between button one and then button two all right, so that was it concerning the box layout manager, how you can set it for a frame, for a panel, and how it behaves when you add uh, components on it. And uh, I hope this video was informative and uh, please don't forget to like, to share, to comment, to ask any question if you have, and to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next one.